Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and take another business scenario. So sometimes what we want to do is we wanted to update a child record based on the parent records values. So let's go ahead and take a business scenario. Alice is working as a system admin with Universal Containers. And she has received a requirement that once an account gets activated, the account phone must be synced with the related contact assistant phone feed. So what do I mean by that is whenever you change the account phone field, that the same value should be saved in the contact assistant phone field. For example, here, if you go back to your developer position here, you can see we have these account records and let's say we wanted to go ahead and uh, let's take a look at this account, Burlington Textiles. And you can see here account object and contact is related. So contact is related to account. So for this account, we have this is the contact. So anytime you edit the phone number field on the account object, then this particular field, the value should also be the same value should get copied in this field, the assistant phone field, which is available on this contact object. So basically what we're trying to do here is anytime you make a change to the account object phone field, that same value should get copied to the assistant phone field available on that contact. So let's say if an account has two contacts, so both of these contacts should get updated and the new value on this assistant phone field should be same as what you have provided here. So this is our business requirement. Okay. So one more time here. So if you go to, let's say you pick up any other account, let's say we talk about GenPoint. And if you go ahead and make a change to this phone field, then the same change should appear here. So in the assistant phone feed, I'm not talking about this phone. I'm not talking about this field. I'm talking about this field. Assistant phone field should also reflect the same value, which is on the account phone field. Okay. So that is what the requirement is. Now, if we want to achieve this requirement, we used to do, we, we were creating triggers and we were creating triggers and that requires a developer and we do not want a developer. And let's say as a system admin, I wanted to address this issue. So how will I do it? I can do this requirement with the help of the process builder and how we are going to do this requirement. We will see now. So let's go ahead and get rid of all these extra tabs and let's go to the setup here. Now we are going to create a new process. And we're going to click on this process builder here. And what we want to do is we are going to create a new process. So let's go ahead and click on new. Now we are going to provide the name for the process. The name is update contacts assistant phone feed, right? This is the name. So we have the name is update the contact. There's a field available on the contact object called assistant phone field. So we want to update that field. And what is the description? The description is to update related contact field, which field we're interested in. We are interested in this assistant phone field, which is available on the contact object. Whenever account phone field, there's a field available called phone gets updated. So whenever the account phone field gets updated, we want it to reflect the same value in the related contact, which field assistant phone field. So when do you want to start the process? So this process will start whenever a record changes. Okay. So we're going to select this option and then hit the save button. So the first thing that we need to do is this is the name of the process here. Okay. And the first thing is we need to select the object. So the object this process is, is going to be account object because anytime an account record gets created or it's going to be edited, that's when I want to do it, right? So we are going to go ahead and select the object from the menu is going to be account object. So here I'm going to start typing in account and it will show me this account here. 
So this process is going to be on account object. And when do you want to start the process? Only when a record is created or do you also want it to start the process when a record is created or edited? So in this case, this is the option that I will choose because I wanted to uh, start the process anytime you make a change to the account record, not only once it is created. I wanted to make sure that anytime you update the account record, this process should be started. Okay. And we do not want to do any recursion. We do not want to allow the process to evaluate multiple times in a single transaction. We do not want to do that. So I will leave this unchecked. So this is the object and I wanted to start this process whenever you make a change to the account record or whenever you create a new account record. So let's go ahead and hit the save button here. So the first step is done. We have selected our object here. Then the next thing is we need to specify the criteria. As you can see here, the criteria is whenever an account gets activated, that is what the criteria is. Whenever the account gets activated and the account phone field is updated, means if you change the account phone field and the account is activated, that's what the criteria is. So I only wanted to include those records which on those account records where if they are in active status and the phone field has been updated. I do not want to do go ahead and copy the value if you have changed the shipping city or shipping state. I don't I'm not interested in that. I'm only interested in when the phone field has been updated. Okay. So going back here, what is the criteria here? So the criteria is we'll say is account active that's the criteria and so the criteria would be if these conditions are met okay then only so the first condition would be the active status okay there is a field available on the account object called active there's a field available called active and that particular field should be equals to true okay means if the account should be in active status so there is a field available so this is going to be in active status and the phone field should be changed okay so we can select a phone field here from the account so there's the account phone so choose that field now we want to make sure this field is changed okay not equals or whatever is changed and uh, this is going to be true so anytime the phone fields get updated and the account is in active status that's when i wanted to do this action whatever the action is we're going to define later but this is the conditions this is the criteria just like we have provided the criterias in the workflows the same way we need to provide the criterias here as well so all of the conditions are met only when these two conditions met not or we are selecting the and option we are not selecting the or option okay so that's when this is the criteria so let's go ahead and hit the save button okay so is account active if it is active then what you want to do what is the action that you want to do the action is i wanted to update my contact record which is a related record to the account object we are not making changes on the account object itself we are making changes on the related object of the account so here we are going to select the add action right and what is the action type action type is we are not creating any new record we are updating the records now what we are updating here so the name would be update the assistant phone field on contact object that's the name now what is the record type so select the account record that started the process or select a record related to the account so we are not interested in account record we are interested in the related related uh, records so which is the contact type okay so we are interested in the contact record which is related to this account so we are going to select that particular contact. So we are interested in related. This particular thing was not possible with the help of workflows. So that's why we have process builder to achieve this. So we are updating the contact, which is basically related to the account. Now, criteria for updating the records. Update the records, which meets all the condition or we wanted to just update the record. So we are going to select this no criteria. So we wanted to update 
the contact record. Now, which field on the contact record are you interested in? So I'm interested in the assistant phone field, right? So this is the field I'm interested in. So we are going to just choose that field here. So this field is available on the contact object. And what should be the value? The value should come from, so this is going to be reference. Whenever you're referencing another field on a different object, so we are going to specify reference. Which field? We are interested in the phone field. So what we are saying here is go ahead and copy the value of the account phone into this assistant phone field on the contact object. That's what we are specifying because that's our requirement is. The requirement is update the assistant phone field whenever the account phone field gets changed and the value should be copied to the assistant phone field. Okay, so that's what we are updating. So we are updating the assistant phone field with whatever the value is available in the account phone field. So let's go ahead and hit the save button. So now we have created our process. We have started with a, we have created our process. Now the next step is we need to activate this process. The process is for the account objects. We are checking if the account record is in active status and if you have updated the phone field, that's when the this criteria meets and whenever this criteria meets we will update the phone field assistant phone field on the contact object and uh, this is our process we have finally finished working on the process and our requirement also meets so requirement was that once an account gets activated the account phone field should be synced with the related contact assistant phone field so this the requirement meets now now going back to our developers account now the next step is we need to activate this process so let's go ahead and click on the activate button and while activating this is the warning you're going to get it will deactivate any other active versions under this process so we do not have any of these so we're going to go ahead and hit the confirm button in the next tutorial we are going to test if this process is working as we expected to see so i will see in the next tutorial thank you so much